Here's a quick video to help those who may have made the same mistake that I made when I first started sampling in my Roland Integra into a sample robot. Um, I uh, initially didn't save all 127 uh, patches. Um, I only saved the first selected patch. So when I close it out, all the WAV files are in the folder as such. Let me show you. All the WAV files are here. See? But the program file is only this one. I didn't realize until I got down here that I was supposed to save all the program file, the patches as programs. So what happened is I tried to bring these back in. I tried to re-import them using the re-import feature on the sample robot. Right here, the re-import feature uh, up here, right there. I tried to re-import it right here. When I brought it in, it would never start at the very beginning of the loop. It had like an air, like like air at the beginning or, or empty space at the beginning, empty space at the end. I'm like, man, I don't want to go through each one of these patches just to get rid of that that air. So the quick the quick fix for that for me was to just simply select the whole group of uh, that patch, all the notes like 001. I'll take all of these, then I'll open them up in a DAW like a sample. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, a Studio One or, or a Pro Tools and then keep them on separate tracks, keep the names the same, and then re-export them as stems, but cut off that air at the beginning, and cut off the air at the, at the end, and just put them back in this folder. And as you sample, as you uh, bring them in to the uh, patch here, when you import them, it'll go ahead and be like how you want it, to be trimmed properly, and then you can just go ahead and save that as a project file at that point. So if you ever run into that issue, that's a simple fix, okay.